Hi, Lane parents. Uh, this is Mr. Ackerman, and I wanted to take you through a sample problem for grade four for the PARC exam. The PARC exam will be replacing the MCAS exam this spring in both a Lane school and JGMS. The state will decide over the next year if this will be a permanent replacement. So for the PARC exam, the students at Lane School will be taking it on paper, uh, but many students across the country, because it is a partial national exam, which means many, many states, but not all, will be doing the same exam. They'll be doing it actually on the computer, but for us, we'll be doing it on paper and pencil. So this is a grade four math problem. And as I take you through it, I want you just to notice uh, the type of thinking the kids will be asked to do and just to give you a flavor for what will be expected. So you can see right off the bat, that there's a lot of language involved here in this problem. Three classes at Lakeview School are going on a field trip. The table shows the number of people in each class, including the teacher. They can choose to use buses, vans, and cars. And they've given us the information down here for the capacity of each of these vehicles. The students need to figure out which three combinations can be used to take all three classes on the field trip. So they'll actually be checking off three out of these five options. So what I imagine the students will do is they will add up these three numbers to get a total number of students and teachers, which will be 72. The students then have to figure out how to disperse those students across three vehicles. Now, one thing the kids might not notice, but they'll need to think about, is the fact that these vehicles don't necessarily have to be filled to capacity. It doesn't say that anywhere here. So even though the buses have 20 seats, it doesn't mean 20 students and teachers have to be on there. And that will be something that will really make our students think. So as they try this option, with one bus and four vans, that's 20 seats there. And then you have 64 seats here. Well, 20 and 64 is 84. So it'll be interesting to see if the students think because this total is 84, if that means they can't use that option. But in fact, they can because that is giving them more than 72 seats. So one bus and four vans is actually an acceptable option. So the students will need to go through these scenarios and see which ones work and which don't. So there will be addition required, and there will be some subtraction and division as each student tackles this problem in a different way. But as you can see, this problem is not easy. It certainly requires thinking, but most of all, it asks students to transfer, to actually apply their knowledge of math, the skills that we teach, but to transfer it to a real application. And this is a real application. The good news is, is that we are having our students solve these types of problems throughout the school year, because we think math is more than just straight computation. Adding these three numbers would be straight computation, but actually doing something with those numbers. That's where the real mathematical thinking has to come in. So go through this problem yourself. Let me know what you think. I'll be posting other problems uh, to give you, again, a flavor for what the park exam will be about this spring. Thank you.